Hello, welcome to this video tutorial on how you can create your very own custom Minecraft launcher using Game Launcher Creator V3. Game Launcher Creator V3 is the easiest software to use. It's, it's a Windows app and it's just too easy to make a custom game launcher for your Minecraft server. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of experience you have. Um, you don't need any programming experience. Everything's drag and drop and I'm going to show you very quickly on how you can do that using Game Launcher Creator V3. So the first thing you need to do when you have GLC V3 open is just go up here to the template manager and you can see that you can install a range of free templates that are available for you to use. Now if you have your own design you can also create your own design in Photoshop, Illustrator, Fireworks, GIMP, any of them kind of apps and you can create your own design as well and it's all drag and drop so it's dead easy um, and there are tutorial videos showing you how to import your own design but if you're not really um, if you're not really good at graphic design or um, you know creating your own launcher design then there are templates that you can use inside the software to create your own now I'm just going to use this Minecrafters one here uh, which is already installed so once you've got your templates installed you just go to file a new project and then what you do is just fill out all your information. So I'm just going to use my Minecraft server launcher. And I'm going to put in my author name. You can put anything in here that you want. And then I'm going to choose the Minecrafters template. Now it automatically fills out the window size for me. So I can literally just click on create. And it will create the template for us to use. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to connect up your Minecraft server to your own custom design launcher using Game Launcher Creator V3. I'll put the link below in the description so you can check out Game Launcher Creator V3. Go and check it out yourself um, and see if it's for you. We, there is literally thousands of users using this software, um, and it's just it's just it's been around for uh, around six years now, um, and it's just it's just too easy to do. But I'm going to show you how easy it is right now. So the play button here, as you can see, we have lots of different buttons in this template that we can play about with, so we can link these buttons up to our Facebook. YouTube, Twitter, Discord server. We can even link it to a store if we have one, maybe a Tebex or something like that. Um, and then we can also do mods. So you can also customize mods as well. So if you have mods for your Minecraft server, you can literally update those mods to your user's computer in real time. Um, but that's for another video. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to create uh, this launcher that connects straight to your Minecraft server. So what we do is we're going to choose our play button, which is this one. Um, and we're not going to do that just yet though. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a Minecraft object. Now we can put this object wherever we want in our launcher. This is an invisible object so your user won't see this inside the launcher. So we need to open up the settings for this and then in here we need to put in our server information. So I'm going to use a public server for um, this one. So I'm going to use the Mine Superior server. So you, usually you would put your IP in here, or if you have a DNS entry like this, you can put that in and use that instead. Um, so then we're going to put the port in, which is 19132. And then all we do is put in the server version. So the server version, it supports all servers, so whether it's Forge, Fabric, it doesn't matter what server version it is, it supports all server versions. All you've just got to make sure that you do is put the exact string inside here. But there's documentation on the website for this to show you how all this is done. So there it is, it's as simple as that. You literally put in your server IP, your server port, and the server version inside there. And then you can close that. And then what you do is you click on the Minecraft object, go up here, and just select the internal name, right click and copy. Then we go to our play button. And then we click on the settings for the play button. We go to actions to say what's going to happen when the user clicks on play. So we add a new action and then we go down to Minecraft and then we simply paste the name of our Minecraft object into here. And we click on close and close on that. And then once you're done and you're ready, you can literally go to build launcher, click on Minecraft support and then build the launcher out. This takes about... I'd say about six or seven seconds to do. It doesn't take long. And there you go, it's complete. View the launcher files, and there we have it. Our own custom Minecraft launcher. So what you can do is you can zip this up or create an installer. 
uh, and then just send it to your friends and your users. If you have a community, you can you can attach it as a download so people can download it from your website. And all they do is they just run the launcher like this. And you can see how fast it loads up. And then when they click on play, all they then have to do is just log into Minecraft as you normally would and then click on launch server and it will take them directly to your server. Um, now, they don't have to do this every time. So once they've logged in once, or so put in the username, password, window width, window height, and all this, once they've done this and clicked on launch server, um, then they don't have to keep logging in every time. So every time they come back to your launcher and they click on play, it will then um, just connect them straight to your server. So that's how easy it is to do. So that's Game Launcher Creator V3. As I said, it's been around since 2017 uh, thousands of users are using it dead easy you can create your own launcher there's many things you can do link stuff up to your discord server your twitter your facebook your youtube your tiktok whatever it is you want to link to you can do it you can also supply updates to your users so if you have specific mods or custom mods that you have on your server and your user is going to need them mod files you can create updates as well and it's all easy there's tutorials for everything available online there's video tutorials there's written tutorials and the discord server is packed with thousands of people already in it as well so if you do um, get game launcher creative v3 don't forget to join the discord server the link below for that as well um, where you can join thousands of other minecraft users and the support staff and the developers are on the to help out as well um, but yeah that's pretty much how easy it is to create your own custom minecraft launcher with game launcher creator v3 and there is many more features to this software check out the link below in the description see if it's for you and if it is go and get it today you will not regret it mm -hmm.